Hello out there YouTube friends, I am Cindy and this is Sincerely Cindy Settle. I finally did it. I finally got a Dia and Co. Alright, so we're going to dig into this one and we're going to see what Dia and Co. has to offer. I am going to go ahead and do a complete um, unboxing of this one since I've never done this one before. So this is going to be new to me. Um, it might be new to you as well. So I did pay a $20 styling fee. Um, I did complete a style profile. Um, once I completed the style profile, they curated a few items right then and there for me, and I could choose from those few items. It ranged from skirts to dresses to shirts, sweaters, you know, the whole gamut of items. So I did end up choosing one item that wasn't necessarily stylist pick, I'm sure it was more of an algorithm or something like that because it was done right after um, I ordered the box. So let's see what we have in here. All right, so when you dig into your box, this is what it looks like. So in your box, you will have, looks like we have an envelope that has our invoice as well as our note from our stylist in there as well. I apologize, I'm having some lighting issues today. I'm not sure what's going on, so my apologies if it's a little bit dark back there. I think it was a little bit too bright a minute ago and I was getting a little washed out. So anyway, so you have an invoice here. It looks like I have six items as opposed to the normal five that I thought I would find in here. So maybe that's because I chose one of the items myself and they just added it to the box and then they curated the other five from the stylist. That might be my guess. So it does give you some directions on what you need to do next and then 25% off for five or more items. So let's see what my stylist had to say because I haven't done one of these before and we will see what Stacy has to say because this is all new and exciting and fun. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll decide to do that. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share me with your friends. <laughs> Sorry, that's just one of those standard lines I have to do and I kind of feel silly asking it or saying that every time, but it is what it is. So, and if you're new here, really, I genuinely do thank you for being here. And if you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for sticking around and for watching my videos because I do have a good time doing them. And I love interacting with you guys. So, I digress. Sorry. Hi, Cindy. Welcome to the Dia & Co. family. We are so glad you are here. My name is Stacy, and I'm really excited to start this journey with you and build a wardrobe you'll love to wear every day. You mentioned you wanted to see dresses, so I wanted to start with a City Chic Maxi Dress. Maxi dresses are good. And the Beautiful Knot Detailed Dress. These are perfect for your summer vacation coupled with strappy sandals and a simple jewelry. Enjoy the cut from the cloth boyfriend shorts for the weekend with the black shired, sheared, shired, S-H-I-R-R-E-D, strap tank or the bright colored tee and sandals. Sounds like a fun box. Don't forget to send us your feedback. We want to know what you like what you don't, and what styles you're willing to try. And most importantly, we want you to have fun with us. Thanks, Stacy. I want to have fun with you too. So maybe I'll get Stacy to follow my channel. You never know. All right, then you also have your, you also have your return envelope for all of your goodies that do not work for you. And then you have a and Co. Seasonal Style Boxes New style for life's moments. Try our seasonal style boxes and show up feeling your best. It's another way for personal styling to fit into your life. Another way to enjoy personal styling. Personal styling, let me see. So we have this little card in here um, and it's super easy. There's a new way to shop with DNCO. Seasonal style boxes are themed boxes designed for life's moments. Try as many as you like for endless ideas and options all delivered to your door. One, a stylist will handpick five items for you based on a style quiz. Two, get 25% off when you keep all five items. And three, no plan commitment needed, free shipping and returns always. So it sounds like it's kind of an on-demand, get it every season um, <clears throat> kind of deal. All right, let's dig in. Here's my fancy little bundle. It's been a little while since I've done a bundle. So there we have it. All right, 
let's dig in. All right, so here we have a fun yellow and white top. Not sure how well you can see those colors right now. Let's see if it'll focus a little bit. Maybe. So this is yellow and white. Um, it's kind of um, almost like a camo look to me. Um, I'm sure you'll get a better idea from it when I try it on, but it is just a um, t-shirt. looks like it is a little bit of a, I was going to say a high-low, but maybe not. Okay, so just a basic tee. <clears throat> this looks like it is some sort of dress. It is indeed. This must be, this is the city chic dress she was referring to. Very pretty collar. Look how pretty that is. It's kind of like a hunter green. It is tiered at the bottom. It is belted. Um, very pretty tassel detail on the belt. Has these cute little bows here at the top on the shoulders. That's cute. And adjustable shoulder straps. Very cute. Very cute. Here we have a floral. These are kind of some fallish colors, but it's very pretty um, for spring as well. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so it's shorter. It is, looks like it's going to be hit at the elbow. It's got some elastic there. It's got a square neckline. It's very feminine, and then it has this cute little bow detail, which you may not be able to see very well, here in the back. I think that's the back. Maybe that's the front. That's the front. I'm an idiot. Oh, but that's cute. Look how cute that is. That may be too much on the front for me. Like I'm already busty. So, but I think that is super cute. That's a really cute detail. Looks like it's high waisted. I like that. All right. Then we have something black. This is cute as well. All right, Dia and Co. This is a cute little tank with some cute little, a cute little ruffle detail there on the sleeve. And you have just a white button, um, white buttons that come down the front. Um, it feels, oh, these are not working buttons, which is kind of a good thing because if you guys have seen some of my videos, you know that I struggle with um, the gaping there in the chest area. So this is very cute and it is lined. So very nice. And then we have a couple pair of, looks like jeans or jean shorts. These are Mary Sky. Oh, this is the skirt. Duh. I asked for this skirt. This was in the preview for me. And I've been looking for a jean skirt. Um, and I thought this one was cute. I like the distressing on it. And I like the hem, the hem line there. And then these must be the shorts that she recommended. From Cut From The Cloth. Looks like it's going to be a great box. That might be mean I'm in trouble. I got two more boxes back here to open. Guess I'll have to pick my favorites. All right, I'm going to try these on. Okay, here we are with our first Dia & Co. dress. So very pretty green um, collar. I think the um, bows here are super cute. I think the fringe here on the tassel is really cute. It has pockets, which is fantastic. It is very lightweight. It is a maxi dress. It does have a tear down there at the bottom. I do just have it paired with a pair of gladiator sandals um, that I think look cute with it. I'm not sure that I'm in love with this one. I'm not sure that I like how it, I don't know, how it lays. I feel like it doesn't have much shape. I. You know, I do realize that I'm bringing this tie in to give myself a waistline. Um, I may need to look at it a little bit better in a full length mirror because I don't think the screen here is doing me much favors, nor are my smaller mirrors that I have downstairs. I really need a full length mirror down here is what I need. But let me show you the details and I want to know what you guys think about this one. I think the neckline is good under the arms fits good. Let me show you the bows. So there you can see the cute little bows there at the top. I think that is a very cute little detail. 
Um, it does have a little bit of a scoop neck. This is sitting a little bit high for me, um, but it does have adjustable straps, so I'm confident that if I adjusted the straps that I would have no problems. Um, it is gathered here at the waist due to the belt. There's no gaping here. Let me show you the back up close and then I'll step back so you can, so you can see the length. So there you can see the length that is hitting right above the foot. So a flat sandal looks really cute with this and works perfectly. It can be worn both casually or dressed up. It would look cute with a jean jacket or a vest over it as well. Let's do a quick turnaround. I like that it's very flowy. It is very comfortable and very lightweight. So let me know what you guys think. I feel like this could transition well into fall as well due to the collar. Um, and I do like it. I just need to look back at the footage and look in a full length mirror to see how I feel about this piece here. Um, let me know what you guys think about the belt and the belted look and if this is a good silhouette for me. All right, let's move on to the next dress. All right, here we have dress number two. Super cute, right? So a couple things about this one. I think the pattern is really cute. It does kind of have that prairie style look to it um, a little bit, but I don't think it's too extreme to where it looks awkward or unusual or trendy, too trendy, I should say. Um, you guys know how I feel about trends. They come and go pretty fast and Sometimes I'm into it depending on the price and that kind of thing. Sometimes not so much. But um, I'm going to get a little bit closer so you can see the details. But it does have pockets. It is a little bit shorter. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I'll do a quick turnaround here in just a second. It does have a high waist. It does have a bow here. I will say when I get a little bit closer... Um, my daughter did show me a hack because when this was tied originally, you could see my bra underneath it, or I'm sorry, there was a little hole. You could see the bra. I do have that covered. She showed me a little hack to do that. So it looks a little awkward right now. I would have to work on that a little bit, um, just so that it looked a little bit better. The sleeves do have elastic, but it's not tight by any means. Um, they do hit at the elbows. Very comfortable. It is not lined. Um, so just FYI, in case this is something that you like and might want to request in your Dia and Co. So let me get closer so you can see the details. Okay, so you can see that you do have a pretty significant um, V-neck here, a little bit of cleavage here as well. That doesn't bother me um, so much. It might bother some of you. It doesn't um, really bother me too much. I can always wear a cami there to wear it to work, which wouldn't be a big deal. Um, it does have elastic here um, at the shoulders to keep those shoulders up since it is pretty wide. Again, the sleeves do have elastic, but you can see that they are very um, loose. The print is a small floral. Those are oranges and yellows. Again, kind of fallish collar scheme, but very cute for spring and summer. This would be really cute with like a straw hat. I have it on with my gladiator. Um, sandals would also look cute with some tennis shoes, if you ask me. And you can see here, I don't know if you can see that real well, but it is a little bit high-waisted. and It has that coming in there at the waist, a little bit of elastic at the back um, to bring that waist in. And pockets. I mean, it's got pockets. Cute. All right, moving on. So here we have our next outfit. Um, I like both of these pieces. You know that I, I am prone to black. If you've been watching my channel for any period of time, you know that I kind of gravitate towards black anyway. I think this is really cute. It is very comfortable. The only complaint that I have is under the arms here. It is elastic under here, and it is coming up a little bit higher than what I would like and making it a little bit uncomfortable. I think the straps are cute, um, this cute little ruffle. I do have on a strapless bra today, so I'm not sure if these would cover just a regular um, bra strap. I think that they would. Um, 
So there's that, which is a plus for sure. Um, again, the top is lined. It does have two layers here. The buttons down here are just, um, they are non-functional. So let me, I have a front tuck, so let me untuck this so that you can see the length. Good length, it's not overly flowy, it's not overly long. I don't feel like I'm swimming in it. But like I said, I do have a little bit of concern there under the arms, which is a little bit uncomfortable. So let's talk about the skirt. So this is just a general um, jean mini skirt. It does have some distressing. It does have the raw hem. The um, waist is pretty, or I'm sorry, the rise is pretty high. It's coming up above the belly button, which I'm fine with, um, and it's comfortable up there. I feel like these are a good fit. They're comfortable. There's not a whole lot of stretch, but there's enough to where you're not uncomfortable. Um, there is a little bit of room for movement there. So let me know what you think of these two pieces. Um, I always like the way black looks on me, um, and I think that's why I gravitate towards it. But um, I don't know that this one's going to be a keeper simply because the arms are slightly uncomfortable. I do like the skirt. I have been looking for a jean skirt, a jean mini skirt, um, and I think that this is a good, um, reasonable length for me um, to wear very casually with sandals um, and dress it up, dress it down, whatever I want to do with it. So. Let me know what you guys think. I love hearing from you guys. I have a pair of shorts and I have another t-shirt, so I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> final outfit from this box. We have this cute little t-shirt and we have the cut from the cloth shorts. Again, both are a very good fit. What do you think? So I don't know if you can see the collar of the shirt very well. Again, it kind of looks like a yellow camo almost. Um, it's yellow and white, but it's kind of inter interspersed, and it's hard really to tell where the yellow ends and the white begins. But I'm surprised that I like the fit of this <clears throat> as well as I do. I do have a little bit of a front front tuck here. It is just a it is just a crew neck t-shirt. It is lighter weight. I don't know if you can see the design in that any better. Um, it is short sleeve. There's no. Um, cuffing or anything to the sleeves. The underarms feel good. Um, again, I like this a little bit better than what I thought it would. So I'll be interested to see what the price is on this. It is just a t-shirt, so if it's too pricey, it's going to be a no. Um, so let's talk about the shorts. So again, the shorts are a good fit as well. These are cut from the cloth. It is your general five pocket um, jean short, they are cuffed. I like the wash of these. I like the fit. I think they're very comfortable. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really have any complaints about these. The fit is good. So these might be keepers. Let me know what you guys think. I think I did pretty well in my first Dia box. I don't know. I think I did well. I might have to give them another try. So I don't think I'm going to keep everything. Um, but I do feel like I have a few really good contenders. So let's do a quick wrap up and let's see how much everything is. All right, so let's do this wrap up. So I had intended on this video to go over the prices while I went over the items, but I forgot because I'm so used to just doing a wrap up. But I figured maybe I don't need to do a wrap up anymore. Um, maybe I just need to kind of wrap up by just going over what my favorites were. I don't know, what do you guys think? Because you guys see the prices while I'm going over the items, but I don't know the prices when I'm talking about the items. So I was just thinking maybe while I'm going over the items to go ahead and talk about the price and whether or not I feel like it's worth the money or not worth the money. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Or do you like this kind of wrap up versus a wrap up where I would just pull out my favorites and say, what do you think, which one should I keep? I don't know, maybe it doesn't really matter. Maybe just change it up every now and then. All right, so let's see. So we have the City Chic Maggie Knot Dress. This is $53. Um, so I did like this dress. I think it's very cute. It's very unique. I like the collars. Um, so I don't know. I'm on the fence with this one. I am going to look back at the footage, and I'll probably try it on again to see what I can do here with this knot in the front and see how it looks with a cami underneath it. 
if I do wear this to work. I would want to be able to wear it to work um, and not just on the weekends or in the evenings. So I did like that one. Let me know what you guys think. So then we have the maxi. Again, I like the color of this. I think it would be a good transition piece into fall as well as wearing it in the summer. I think the bows up here at the top are really cute. I'm just not sure that the style is all that flattering on me. Again, let me know your thoughts. Then we have the strap, the Shire Cheered Strap Tank. That's this one here. Again, I like the black. I think this is cute, but I did have some issues there under the arms, and this is $45. But I do like the style, and I think it's very cute. I like the unique elements of that. Then we have the Ashley T. That is this one here. I did notice when I was taking this off that there is a somewhat of an odor to it, and I'm thinking that that's from the dye or the coloring in it. Um, and it is a little bit see-through. I've noticed that as well. Like I said, it is lightweight, so I'm not sure how well that would hold up. It is $49. So then we have the skirt. This is $55. I know that seems a little high, but I have a hard time finding mini skirts. And again, I'm going to look at the footage, but this one might be a keeper. I did like it. I felt like the fit was good. I like the amount of distressing. I like the wash. Um, again, I always like hearing from you, so let me know if you're looking at it and you're like, dude, that's way too short, or dude, it's way too tight, or whatever. Or, Cindy, you look fabulous in that. You should wear it with blah, 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 blah. I like to know that, too. Then we have the Cut From The Cloth shorts, and I knew that these were going to be a little pricier. They are $79. Um, I am going to hold off on these. I did like these. I thought the fit was good. I like the cuff. Um, I like everything about them. Um, so we will see about those. So please let me know what you guys think. I am Sincerely Cindy Settle. I am signing out. Mwah.